You know when they say our money doesn't buy you happiness? I mean, yeah. But it can give you options to be happy. When I had like a peak of sales in my NFT, which would be approximately 150,000 so in a day, I think that was during the Beeple craze. Beeple has sold at Christie's for nearly 70 million. 70 million dollars. Was kind of a GameStop moment for the art world. So when I had that nice profit from the NFT, I've had tons of people saying to me, oh, you have to diversify your portfolio. You don't just put in Ethereum. And at that point in time, with my job, with this creativity, and I wasn't really prepared for that, I guess, success or like that short success from an NFT collection. My name is Hafiz, also known as the next most famous artist, and I work as an art director for a tech company by day and then by night. When I have free time, I just make art. I started out the next most famous artist because I've been a fan of the most famous artist by Matty Mo. And since there's already a most famous artist, I want to be the next one. My body of work usually revolves around highlighting social issues around us and also embracing everyday life. Because when we see historical figures, they are mostly trapped inside these grand walls of the galleries, which are quite highbrow. So my goal is to actually bring it down to the masses. And by doing so, I actually transport them into uh, very familiar scenarios that we can relate to. And from there, we can learn a bit more about this um, classical paintings. When the work in the ad agency was quite stressful and it was really breaking down my confidence in my creativity and there's this opportunity that came up, there was a moment where I thought, wow, I could actually be a full-time artist. It's a dream come true, basically. I mean, I was working with lots of cool fashion brands or fashion magazines like Vogue, Harper's Bazaar, Tattoo Singapore. That was definitely like an exciting period because who knew? And I just started out doing art that I would be a part of this amazing collaboration with them. I started out experimenting with NFTs during the Beeple craze. I think that was in early 2021, in March around there. So when minting an NFT, many people think that it's an easy way to actually earn money, but it's not. It actually takes a lot of work in terms of marketing, community building, creating a Discord group, like marketing your work on Twitter spaces. And you have to do that, but still remain human. Because whenever when community building becomes a bit too um, mechanical and st strategized, it doesn't feel okay and people get um, like turned off by it. It's definitely like a full-time job basically because you're cutting out the middleman. So there's no galleries, there's no promoter and all. You have to do everything yourself. The challenge with uh, digital art is that there was this pressure to always deliver. Creating artworks is not as easy and it's always fluctuating in terms of sales. I decided to not do art full-time anymore only because I'm the sole breadwinner of this household. So the financial pressure from selling 16 prints in a month, yeah, it was really um, stressful. I wasn't enjoying creating art as much at that point of time anymore. I felt that the universe actually was sending me a sign that it's time to move on and then just try something new. Right now, it's like a balance between both, right? Doing art on the side so that I have the financial pressures settled by my job, but I still have like free time where my mind wanders and experiment with my artwork. So I feel that's like a healthy balance. So in general, uh, every month, it fluctuates a lot, but my income from my work, from my art, from my NFT would just total up to around 5 to 7k. So majority of that would be from buying grab food for my family. I mean, we have dinners, but we would still like to splurge on supper and all that. And then obviously, uh, provide for my mom. Uh, I wouldn't say I like to save. From the main bulk of my income, I, I would save around 40 to 50%. And it's not like a conscious decision to say 40 or 50%. For me, I think it, it actually went back to uh, when my dad was in hospital and he passed away. And then we were really weren't prepared for that financial burden. So I feel in the, at the back of my head, I want to make sure that I have the money to support my family. So when I had like a peak of sales in my NFT, which would be approximately 150,000 
So in that day, I really felt overwhelmed by that amount because I guess I wasn't used to having that much profits. And I knew that I cannot just spend it all. I think the first thing I bought was um, air conditioning for the house because we grew up without air conditioning and I got like a mattress for my back because I was using like a sponge mattress and it was hurting my back. It has never been a straight linear path in terms of my career. It's all about science for me, like whatever feels right at the moment where I'm supposed to go, I just go for it. I feel that if you keep planning, you're just restricting yourself to what could happen next. I like to keep my mind open and accept any opportunities to just take me to wherever I'm supposed to go. The hustle. I just hate like when people say, sleep is for the weak, you know? Tell that to your eye bags.